Well, hey, this is Steve Schneider. We're here with James Lord. Hey, James. Hey, how are you doing today? All right. So um, this is the first of, we'll see, of, of, a, of a how to tiddlyweekify videos. And so we've never tried this before, and uh, we're going to give it a whirl. So, and, um, so James, you want to open up Firefox, because we always want to use Firefox, uh, especially when we're starting. And then, James, I think you've done this, but just go ahead and search for the tiddlyfox uh, extension. And if you've not used Firefox before, um, it's not too hard. You just click on that, and um, there's going to be a button there that says, like, add, and that's it. And so go ahead and add it, and you've got it. So, James, you can close that. And, oh, you already – oh, you, okay, good. I thought you'd already done this. I did. Oh, okay. I'm doing it all over again. Oh, thank you. You're yeah. Right. So – yeah, and you don't have to use Firefox as your default browser. And in some ways, it's, it's, it's a weird thing about TiddlyWiki, as you'll see, because you're writing in a browser. And so I sometimes just use Firefox to write in. So anyway, so go to tiddlywiki.com. Um, and TiddlyWiki is our platform. It's, 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 it's our world here. And that hello there is sort of the equivalent of hello world in the old programming you know, stuff. And so your opening tiddler always says, hello there. That's tradition. And if you, you can read this and stuff, but you might've looked at it already. So you scroll down to, you see the big download button, um, which is, there it is. Download empty. <laughs> yeah. Um, and save it. And here we should have started with Dropbox, but that's okay. So save it. And if you're like, most people who have their Dropbox set up, oh, where did it save to? Um, saves it to my hard drive. Oh. Okay, so do a download empty again. Because we're, do you have it set up so that you can um, choose where, where it goes? No. Um, oh, it never asks you where you want it to be? Nope. Oh. I can do an open with and choose where on what opens it, but save file. Yeah, no. yeah, okay, so you've got that set up different. Oh, so, so just said okay, that's fine. Yeah, or cancel, right? We already did it once. So let's look at this on your wherever it gets saved. Okay. There it is. So, so there's that. So grab one of those empty, right? And drag that into Dropbox. I'm going to put it in my Dropbox. I'm going to put it in public, correct? Yeah. So if, and so James is already used, so he's an older Dropbox user. And so you want to stick it in Dropbox in the public folder. And um, let's rename it. So from empty, uh, yeah, rename it. And um, uh, I don't know, this is like my first tiddly wiki. <laughs> so call it whatever you want, but that works. Okay. And then, yeah. So now go back to Firefox. Yeah. So we're in Firefox, right? Yep. Let me get to the... Yeah. So do a file. Do file, file open from Firefox. Yep. Okay. And it asks you right there, is that how you want to do tiddlyfox? Another way to do that is you just link, link, open, click on the file menu in Firefox. Okay. And you do open file or Apple O. And then you can navigate if you, you know, if you have to navigate to where you're, and there's, so, you know, I always click on Dropbox and you'll see you might build up a whole directory structure that's gonna have all this stuff. So all different ways to do it. So thanks, yeah, so we've got it open now. Um, so you can cancel that. Um, and so this is, notice it's called my tiddly wiki up there and look at the file name and it's, and look at the URL for this file. It's file colon slash slash slash. And you might not have seen that before the rest of your life. Most of you or many of you have seen HTTP colon slash slash. And, um, but this is not. So in order to write in your file, it needs to say file colon slash slash if you're saving it using the Dropbox method. And we'll talk about the tiddly spot method some other day. So what I wanted to do here um, pretty quickly, and um, 
James is the guinea pig in this, is that I want to walk through a very quick exercise of creating a tiddler, um, creating a lint, and using CAD and saving it. And that's about it. Okay, you ready to go? I'm all set. Okay, so close the getting started tiddler, which you do by clicking on that X, and that closes the tiddler. Um, and then under the My Tiddly Wiki, there's three buttons. There's a plus sign, and linger over that for a moment, and that's to create a new tiddler. And move to the right, and there's the gear or the sun that opens the control panel. And move to the right, and there's the button that says Save. Um, all of this is customizable, but this is how it comes out of the box. Um, so what we want to do is let's create a new tiddler. Click on that plus sign. And the tiddler is an object, so you click on the plus sign. And the tiddler is an object, and an object is um, a key element of hypertext. And this object has different um, elements or parts to it. The first is called the title. The title of this object right now is New Tiddler. Notice above it says Draft of New Tiddler. So this thing exists. It's called Draft of New Tiddler. So let's give it a name. Let's call it uh, My First Tiddler. Um, and instead of putting a space in, back up, backspace, and then put a space, and let's write this in camel case. So it's my and then capital F first. You are right, capital my. Okay, I've never done that with the uh, first one. Yep. Always the second. Yep. My and then capital F and then capital T tiddler. And that's, I think, a matter of style, whether you have the first one or not. And so that's called camel case. This is a three humped camel, right? So basically it means um, it's got a, an a uppercase character in an unexpected space. Um, and you'll see that that has special characteristics in a few minutes. Um, and then down on the type the text for this tiddler, let's go all the way down and click in that box. And now what you're doing is setting the value of the text. So let's write a little story. So write, my name is, and fill in your name. But instead, let's write James Ward as in camel case. Okay, and now click on that show preview button. So what's happening there is on the left is what you're writing and on the right is what it is. And um, notice now that that little red button there is ready to be saved, but you don't have to save it now. You're gonna save it in a minute, okay? And then, um, so go ahead and click the check button in the upper right hand corner of the tiddler right there and linger over that for a second it will say save this tiddler and you saved it okay that's good and now you're in a tiddler and you've got three options okay you can that little down arrow thing that little that thing click that and that's got more actions and you can do any of those things okay um and we'll go over what they are in the future someday and you're free to play and click the next one that looks like a pen or a pencil, and that sort of means edit. So let's edit this tiddler, and notice it's in preview mode, and after it says, my name is James Ward, go back in the text box and let's edit, and put a period there, and, um, and space for your paragraph, you know, uh, next sentence, what do you, tell, tell us something about you. Tell us a story, I said, write a sentence. Yeah, I am. Okay, perfect. And, okay, yeah. So now, um, open a new tab in Firefox and um, get, get the Wikipedia link to Johnstown, New York. So we're just winging this. We want Wikipedia because we like Wikipedia. There it is. There we are. Yep. Okay, so grab that link and then go back to your tiddler and see where you've got Johnstown there? Yep. So let's build a link. So in front of the word Johnstown, um, and this is where you actually have to type some um, called markup. So do open up with two square brackets, and square brackets are those. Yeah. And then right after the word Johnstown. Okay. So after the word Johnstown, 
Yeah, click right in that N, and um, and I need a, a a pipe. A pipe is the key with to the right of the second square bracket, and it's the shift of the backslash above your return key. It's a pipe. Yep, that's it. And now paste, which is the Wikipedia link. Okay, and now two square brackets to close it, two close brackets. And notice what happens on the right. You've just built what's called a link. You click on that and it will open a new window in your browser to John's 10. So that's very cool. So go back to my tiddly wiki. So what we've done so far is we've told a little story and we've built a link. Okay. Um, and um, that's pretty good for now. So up in the tag where it says tag name. Um, what do you want to, what is this? Let's, this is called, um, uh, um, I don't know what, Learning Tiddly Wiki. Give it a tag, Learning Tiddly Wiki. And you don't have to write it in camel case, you can if you want. But, yeah, okay. In fact, don't write this in, let's write Tiddly Wiki in camel case, but not the word word learning. Yeah, so space there. Okay. Yeah, and you have to add it, so click add. So now it's got a tag. Okay, and save this tiddler. Um, not there, um, on the actual, in the tiddler, yep. Okay. Yep, save it. And you don't have to save the wiki now. So now we've got this, and my name is James Ward. James Ward is actually a link, click on that, and it will take us to the tiddler that doesn't exist. Oh. Click to create it. Now, I think you should be able to click that button, but you can't. Click the button that looks like that up there and say, tell us something about James Ward here. Hmm. You know what? Go to Google. Go to Google? Yeah. And um, what happens when you Google yourself? Not much. <laughs> James Ward, Johnstown, New York. Okay, now save that, save that link. The Google query link, yep, copy that. Paste that in TiddlyWiki and paste that just down in the, yeah, right there. Yeah, and get rid of the is the multimedia designer. Okay. And you still have to get rid of the first word there too. Okay. And let's call that um, with two square braces, bracket, bracket. I, I said braces, but I meant bracket. And type Google with, a, with that pipe now. And then close that expression or that text at the end after the New York. Oop, not there. Backspace, backspace. And at the end, right there. Yep, right there in two square braces. And um, there it's a link. Okay, and save that. Tiddler. There we go. Okay, uh, you know what? Open James Ward again okay. by editing it. And let's tag that with learning Tiddly Wiki. Oh, there it is. You can just, yep. And yeah, it's done. You don't have to add it because you're already, yeah. You don't have to add it again because it existed already as a tag. So I'm um, save that. And, um, okay, that looks good. Um, so there. That's kind of cool. Click on Learning Tiddly Wiki, the tag. And what it's going to do, it's going to click on the tag there, and it's going to give you a list of all the tiddlers that are tagged with it. Um, and so you can use that to navigate to, say, James Ward. So click do that. And that will make that the active tiddler. Um, click the uh, close all these tiddlers. So you've got nothing. Nothing open. And then on the right under that menu there, click on Recent. And there's your recent tiddlers. Click on tools. You can do those things. Click on more. 
And you can do that. So I'll click on missing. Oh, no missing tiddlers yet. Okay, click on orphans. My first tiddler is an orphan. That means nothing points to it. Correct. It means it has no home, no family. Uh, yeah, well, click on it. So any place you see it, it's clickable. Um, nothing points to it. Okay, let's edit this again. And write another sentence at the very end. Um, and hit return a couple of times and write, um, I don't know, um, I'm learning about orphans and missing tiddlers here. Yep, except let's change orphans. And um, so let's call them tiddlywinky orphans. So just change the O to a capital O and put tiddlywinky in front of them. You know, so they're tiddly organs or something. Just make them into a, a yeah. Tiddlywinky orphans, that's good. Okay, uh, in fact, that's good right there. And um, let's save this. And now click on missing. And we're missing that because we've created a reference to it, but we've not created the tiddler. Okay, so anyway, so let's so, um, save that. It, it's not saved, you're done, you can open it. And the um, search, figure out how to serve it on Dropbox and how to open it. And we'll cover that in the next video.